Hey guys, Farak here. Okay, today I'm going to do a uh, PvE commentary of a team. It's Scorpion, Alex Zerg, Ah, and Die to Play. This is the most popular PvE map. It's called Bad Harvest, and it normally takes well over 20 minutes to complete. This team did it in an astonishing amount of time, which you will see. You're officially supposed to protect this wagon and then kill a bunch of warlords and then kill the healers and finally take out the rogue giant. But they used a very clever way to get around not doing that. So for starters, Scorpion builds a decomposer. That can take and put 60% of the usual power refund immediately into your power pool. So even friendly units, not your own units, you can get 60% of the power refund into your pool. So everybody that's sacrificing their units, watch Scorpion. He already built tier two. And every time someone kills it, look at his power. It's leaping up. He's not pulling any power wells. Just everyone else is sacrificing their units and boom, he goes tier three and sacrifices his own unit as well. So now he has 90 power and he's already tier three and the game just started, not even 50 seconds ago, which is pretty crazy. Once again, everyone's still sacrificing their units. He's already over 200 power. He's now building a breeding ground, so whatever units he's going to make will cost significantly less, and a furnace of flesh, because he has a lot of void power, and he's going to be using spells, which will put power into void. Alex Serg is decomposing his light blades. We're again at almost 300 power, and he already has an Omni Monument for Tier 4. He uses Enlightenment Scorpion and builds a Colossus. Colossus is the fastest XL unit in the game, I believe. At least fastest ground unit in the game. We now see Cultist Masters, which are going to feed the Furnace and give him back all this power into regular power. Colossus is not going to attack anything. It's just walking around through the fire. Okay, this is an old school tactic. This used to be done years ago, and it's nice to see it in play again. We have a mutating frenzy here. Every time it uses this ability, it does 25% more damage. So if we use it again and again and again, it'll stack and end up doing a crazy amount of damage, like 20,000 damage. And it's an XL counter. So watch what they're going to do here. For starters, there's a portal nexus, so they can teleport this guy. Now, let me pause for a second. Every time it uses the ability, it loses health. 30 life points every two seconds. Every time it's another 30 life points. So eventually it's going to be losing tons of life points. So they need a, n a crazy amount of healers around it to keep it alive since it's going to be draining health so fast. But this super buffing is making it do an insane amount of damage. Let's go follow the Colossus again. Where is that guy? There he is. He kills one of the lords just for, I don't know, just for fun. We have a heal on the Colossus. He keeps using green piece, by the way, throughout the map so that all the enemies just don't attack him. I think it's the third time he did it. And here's the rogue giant. Now, he used a spell that builds buildings, or maybe you can drop it. I'm not exactly sure how this, how this works. But he built the portal station right here so he can teleport anything from here right to here. Now remember, this Mutating Frenzy is super duper buffed, probably does something around 20,000 damage, and it's an XL counter, so you give another 50% on that. Let's watch how this plays out. There it goes, and they're going to have to keep on healing it because it drains life so fast. Two or three shots, done. And the replay's over. That's pretty ridiculous. Uh, don't try this at home, kids. All right. See you guys in the next video.